Hi, good morning. Um, been to you here with Jeff Newton. He's one of the good customers of ours. Uh, I think he's had um, four bikes off me now, haven't you? Yeah, something, something like that. Over that over period, three or four bikes. Couple of years. Um, what bikes have you currently got, Jeff? Um, I've got a V4 uh, S Ducati. Um, I've also got a uh, rather trick cafe racer that Mark saw me, a Ducati GT1000 um, that I've really, really fallen in love with. And previously, Mark had sold me a KTM 1290 SE. Um, but my collection is predominantly off road racing motorcycles, 1960s, 1970s uh, scramblers, motocross bikes that I've rebuilt um, over the years. Um, this is one of the recent winter, Jeff. Can you tell us a bit about this one? Yeah, sure. Um, this is a 1976 and a half Osser. Um, the Spanish were a little bit unusual, they named everything in a half. Um, and half means they released it in June. Uh, so this was originally released in 1976, um, obviously in June, and it's one of 650 that were made um, and distributed worldwide. The engine for this particular bike I didn't really build myself, it was off to San Diego and it was away for about 18 months with a guy called Keith Linus, who is the guru when it comes to Ossers and Osser racing motorcycles. Most of the internals are Japanese Yamaha um, and from a power perspective they're comparable with a YZT50. Um, it's got the period Fox shocks on the rear, the air shocks, and runs the standard beaters on the front. The fiberglass is all reproduction. Um, the tank was made by uh, a friend of mine who used the original for a mould and then recreated that. Uh, frame was new old stock. Most of the engine was new old stock, carburetor new old stock. Basically anything on this bike um, was either new old stock or reproduction. Um, built it over a period of about five years and um, saw something that uh, I really wanted here. And needless to say, Mark decided to take this and uh, put it up for sale.